I'd like to tell you about the banjo, because I've been learning a lot. First of all, it's a totally different instrument from the guitar. Uh, and that, that was a big surprise to me. But it's easier to learn it, because there's only five strings on it. I don't know if there's any guitar players here, but the guitar has six strings, and you really got to use all of them. And the band only has five, and this high one, you don't really touch it. At least not with the left hand, you're just kind of droning on and on with it. So you're like, you're down to four strings. Totally manageable. 30% easier, 33% easier than the guitar, I would say, in terms of just how much it taxes your brain. And for me, I'm already at the limit. <laughs> And the other thing is, it's near impossible to write songs on a banjo without killing somebody, you know? <laughs> I think it's just part of the tradition. Like the first 10 banjo songs I learned, they all had somebody die in them, whether it was a, a, a murder or some sort of an accidental. The death is always untimely in some way and tragic, but always seemingly a little bit celebrated by the narrator. <laughs> it's a very peculiar thing about the banjo songs. And so when I started writing my own banjo songs, I was killing people left and right. <laughs> Some people I knew. <laughs> Sometimes I would just make up fictional characters, just so they wouldn't last long. <laughs> but it's unlocked a whole new avenue of exploration for me. <laughs> I recommend learning the instrument if just for that purpose. <laughs> She sits in the diamond chair. 
I'll wait for the light. 